Mm. You were good while you lasted. Hey guys, Thunder E here. So this is the Meta Quest 3S and uh, this is the latest VR headset from Meta. Now, what is interesting about this headset is its price point. It's $299. It is cheaper than the Meta Quest 3. So we want to find out what is different. Is it better? Is it worse? So let's see whether we should buy the Meta Quest 3S. So started off looking at both headsets. They look very similar and very different, right? The MetaQuest 3S, which is right here in front, kind of has like spider eyes, right? It's got like that ring set of like three eyes on each side. And while the MetaQuest 3 itself just has these three linear uh, camera spots, that's just one of the clearest differences you see. Now with the MetaQuest 3S, these are actually two cameras in front and then two sensors here. It also has cameras on the sides, kind of like the lower left, and the lower right hand sides of uh, the headset that also can point to track, of course, your hands. And you do have a volume rock at the bottom. Um, you have a power switch on the left hand side for your USB ports. Uh, and it feels like a Meta headset. In terms of weight, I think it's a little lighter than the Meta Quest 3, which is nice. Now, you can see here I do have a hard strap, which is pretty cool because. The accessories for the MetaQuest 3 will work for the 3S. So this is the hard strap for the MetaQuest 3. I'm using the MetaQuest 3S. And you can see here, I kind of took it off this one uh, to give you an idea. I like it because you don't have to spend money on new accessories. If you have an old accessory, this is great. It will work well, easy to snap on. One of the cool things about the MetaQuest 3S though compared to the MetaQuest 3 is that your uh, lenses here are adjustable. So you can adjust them in or out depending on the spacing of your eyes. So if you got white eyes that kind of go that way, I'm joking, or depends on how your eyes are set, you can actually adjust them. They are basically two adjustable levels for you, which is great. And I realized, yeah, I got white eyes. They're wide. Anyway, that allows for an easier, you know, usability and gaming experience. Now this is powered by the Snapdragon XR2 chipset, uh, which is the same chipset in the MetaQuest 3. This also has 8 gigabytes of RAM and starts at 120 gigabytes of storage, all the way to 256. So again, same internals here. The battery size here is about 4,336 milliamps on the MetaQuest 3S, which is smaller than the 5,000 plus milliamps battery on the MetaQuest 3. But Meta is promising more battery life in the MetaQuest 3S at 2.5 hours compared to 2.2 hours in MetaQuest 3. So improved battery performance. But the main thing is, is this better? Is this, does it feel better while using it? So put on the headset, whether you're using the soft strap or the hard strap, uh, they feel about the same in terms of comfort. So it's really nice to use, but the hard strap is so much better. I mean, it kind of floats on my head, which is great. Now, when it comes to usability, this is where you see a clear difference between the MetaQuest 3 and 3S. MetaQuest 3 has a sharper lens. Uh, resolution is much higher than the MetaQuest 3S, which has a, a slightly lower resolution. And also the field of view is larger on the MetaQuest 3 over the MetaQuest 3S. So you're going to notice that. It's not as big while you're using it, but you can clearly see the MetaQuest 3 is definitely sharper. Now, when it comes to operations and just the task of using the device, I felt the MetaQuest 3S was snappier. When I was just browsing and trying to select games or downloading the apps, it felt just a little bit faster. It also felt a little bit better when using just the hand gesture controls. Uh, I felt that I felt like you could recognize my hands much easier than MetaQuest 3. I think because of having those extra two cameras at the bottom, which highlights at least can track your hands in different more positions, which is great to see. Now, gaming on here feels exactly the same. You do have controllers that come with it. These are, of course, your Meta controllers, standard. They feel the same. They're quite comfortable to use. And overall, the experience, honestly, felt the same, which is good. I like the fact that Meta can actually make a cheaper product with slightly less of the same, you could say, materials or components, you know, 
downgrade on the display and still give me the same kind of quality I was expecting, even in some instances, some faster or usability experience. So if you're looking to pick up a VR headset and you're going, hmm, maybe the MetaQuest uh, 3S, I'll say, yeah, definitely, sure, it's cheaper. It works the same, you get the same experience. And I think um, it's also a very fun experience too, uh, especially if you go with the hard strap. So if you have any questions in the comments about this, let me know. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment. Uh, time for me to go back to gaming because you all are boring. I said it. <laughs> Woo!